Over the next few minutes, we will explain what invoice payments is and show you how to set up the Sage50 company to use it, what invoices you send to your customers look like, and how your customers can easily pay you. With the invoice payments feature, you can get paid faster by accepting online payments from your customers via secure payment providers, Stripe or PayPal. After a quick setup, your customers will see a Pay Now button in the invoices you email to them. This makes it convenient and easy for them to quickly pay their invoices. Please note that this is an entitled service, available only for customers with an active service plan and a supported version for Sage 50. Let's see how to set up the company to accept invoice payments. First, we open the receivables settings and go to Invoice Payments. Click Set up Payment Service. Enter and confirm the email address. Click Sign up. Complete the security check by clicking the CAPTCHA box and clicking Finish. Select the provider. Enter and confirm the email to create a new account or sign in with an existing account. When signing up for a new account, a confirmation email is sent to the email address. You need to complete the account setup from the link included in the email within 7 days of receiving the first payment. If you don't complete the setup in this time, the payment will be refunded to your customer. Select the accounts to keep track of the money you collected from online payments and of the fees related to online payments. Click Save. After the payment service has been set up, the settings page shows the status as pending. This status changes to active when the payments account has been completely set up. Please note that the invoice payments your customers make online are downloaded when the Sage 50 company opens. If you restore a company from a backup or if you save a copy of the Sage 50 company, transactions will not be downloaded to the restored or copied company. We'll now look at the steps needed to complete the setup of a newly created Stripe account. First, we open the registration email received after creating the Stripe account. Click the Claim Your Stripe Account link. Enter and confirm the password. Click Save Your Stripe Account. Click View Your Dashboard. Click Activate Your Account. Select the country, enter the business information, enter the bank details, and finally click Activate Account. This completes the setup of the Stripe account. The steps to set up a PayPal account are similar. We will not review them in this video. After the Sage50 company has been set up to use online invoice payments, you can email invoices to your customers with a Pay Now option included. When emailing a sales invoice to a customer, select Include Pay Now option in the email to accept online payments. If you select this option when the company has not been set up for online invoice payments, you can set it up here. Please note that this feature is only available for invoices in Canadian dollars. If a customer has been set up to use a different currency, the option to pay the invoice online is not available when emailing an invoice to the customer. When the customer receives the invoice by email, they can easily pay it in full from the body of the email or from the invoice itself. After clicking one of the two options, your customers can enter their name, phone number, credit card information, and submit the payment. The next time you open the Sage 50 company, the customer payments are downloaded. At this point, a receipt is created for each downloaded payment, and the sales invoices show as paid. If an invoice that was already paid is adjusted and the amount is increased, when you email the adjusted invoice to the customer, the option to pay for the invoice is only for the difference. For example, if the original invoice amount was $1,000 and you adjusted it to $1,500 after it was paid online, when you resend it to the customer after adjusting it, the customer will see the option to pay it $500. If an invoice that was already paid is adjusted and the amount is decreased, a credit to the customer's account will be posted within Sage 50 and no refund is processed to the customer through the online payment service. Also, 
If a customer receives an invoice by email with the option to pay it, and then the invoice is adjusted and a second email is sent to the customer, when the customer tries to pay the invoice from the original email, they get an error message when paying. The message says, Sorry, we were unable to process your request. Please try again. You now know what invoice payments is and how to set up the Sage 50 company to use it, what invoices you send to your customers look like, and how your customers can easily pay you.